Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, good morning and happy Friday. So I want to come on here with an update about the whole Sheen by Sheree debacle. So if you guys do not know, uh, Sheree just did an interview with Yahoo News. She sat down to interview with Gibson John, and basically he's asking her about the drama concerning her clothing line. And I find this whole interview and this whole conversation very interesting. The fact that she chose to go onto a platform like Yahoo News and be interviewed by this man who you know is not going to grill her. He's not going to ask the real questions. Instead of her going to the Shade Room or Hollywood Unlocked or hell, even talking to black YouTubers who do Real Housewives reviews, she's not going on their platform because she knows they're going to ask her real questions and hold her feet to the fire. With this interview, she's able to, you know, stutter and stammer, spin lies. He's, you know, damn near coaching her and feeding her shit to say. They're kind of feeding off of each other, but he's not asking her the real questions that people want to know. So she knew what she was doing by going to get interviewed by him to address the controversy, as opposed to getting interviewed by people in her own community to address the controversy. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this interview. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All I can say is that apparently Sheen or Cheyenne or whatever, they shop at the same um, right. production. It's, uh, it's, production. It's, like, it's like a licensed uh, design, not, right? It's like, it's a, like a licensed label. design. I guess it's yeah. A private label. Yeah. But shame on that private label for selling anything that you sell to, Hope. what's the, what's the big one? Um, Fashion Nova or Hope. Sheen, you shouldn't sell right. to anybody else. <laughs> yeah. To, to, <laughs> to big fa to fast fashion and, places. Yeah. Yeah. Huge volumes. Yeah. Right. But the difference is that you, you have your own logo on that. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? This isn't the first time that this has been done. I don't understand why people hold me to a different, you know, degree than everybody else. Any of these online boutiques, any of these, a lot of these stores you go to, a lot of designers, they, it's called private label. They're yeah. not necessarily designing every garment in their line. Mm -hmm. And some are not designing any of them. Yeah. You know? That, that it's, it's interesting well, because actually labor has been around forever even the totally. cosmetic the prices are too high okay i know they talked about a t-shirt so a t shirts we're, we're 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 offering two prices and it's a scroll down it's a it's a drop down i guess a lot of people uh, somebody texted me last night hey we're we're clicking on this t-shirt and it says one price and then it's giving us another price it's a drop down where i am physically hand signing Every T-shirt, when they say they want Sheree's signature, they're getting my signature. They're not getting a print. They're not getting something that's screen printed that's already on the T-shirt. They're getting me actually taking my time, my energy to sign the T-shirt mm. or T-shirt or sweatshirt or what, whatever it is. Right. And that, that's not free. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. You that's buy all right, so you guys just watched that interview. And there's quite a few things that bother me with what she's saying. First of all, she's trying to act like she doesn't know how to pronounce Sheen. Now, y'all know I mispronounce a lot of shit, honey, so I'm not one to talk. But Sheen is not the most, you know, it's not the most complicated word to pronounce, okay? There's other words way more complicated than Sheen. On top of that, Sheen is now one of the biggest clothing companies in the world. I think, you know what I'm saying, Sheree, being that you've been a boutique owner, you had your own boutique back in the day. So she's trying to basically be, be dismissive and act like she's so confused and doesn't know what Sheen is. Then she goes on to say that basically she got her clothes from a private label. And instead of taking ownership and saying, yeah, you know, they came from a private label, she then starts to bring other people into her fuckery. Clothing companies, they all go through private labels. Some people don't even design any garment. So why is this so different for me? Why am I being held to a different standard? Um, excuse me, ma'am. Your entire storyline this season was the comeback of Sheree Winfield. You've had 14 years, not 14 months. To figure out a clothing line, designs, get a designer. You made it seem like you were having somebody design these from their own, 
you know, creativity. This is how you made it seem on the show. Like these were designs that you paid for that somebody was hand stitching. It was going to be good quality. It was going to be designs that we're not going to be able to get anywhere else. Okay. If we wanted stuff from Sheen and Fashion Nova and all these other fast fashion places, guess what? We could have just easily went to their website and grabbed the same outfit without the Shiba Shire logo for half the price. So the fact that she's trying to gaslight people and, you know, now flip it around on the fans and say, you know, why she held to a different standard. You're held to a different standard because you put yourself out there as a different standard, as a higher standard. Matter of fact, when you watch the fashion show, because I have to go back and watch it and grab clips from there. Um, the lady that was helping her get the models, the Muslim lady, um, was saying, cause Sheree was stressed and saying, well, the clothes aren't here yet. I think they're in Alaska. And the lady says, if I need to, I will fly out there and go get your clothes. Sheree then gets snippy with her and says, are you going to make them too? And to me, it's like, why are you mad at her and getting snippy with her when you've had 14 years to get this together? It's ridiculous. Y'all check this out. Okay. So I don't have all of my samples. I'm still expecting another package today. If it's held anywhere in the U.S., I will fly over there today and go grab them. Well, you going to help him finish making her stuff? Oh, no. All right. So you guys just saw that clip. So she's getting snippy with people who are legitimately trying to help her. And to me, it just didn't make any sense. Then she goes on to say, in the next clip, um, they're talking about the pricing. And once again, she tries to gaslight people by saying, well, there's two different prices. Had people clicked on the drop down, they would see that. One thing when you shop online, folks are always looking for a discount. People will go on, you know, discountcoupons.com, 10% off coupons.com people will look for discounts you mean to tell me everybody came to your website and nobody clicked the so-called drop down with the cheaper price the only price people saw were the full prices for 142 225 there was nothing on that website from what people told me that said that there was anything with a signature or anything extra coming with these outfits all it showed was the outfits that were for sale. There was nothing differentiating what was a quote unquote regular shirt and what was a shirt that was signed by Sheree. But my thing is this, that does not make any sense. If you think about it from a logistical point of view, a time point of view, Sheree is supposedly booked and busy. She's a busy woman who has time to sit around signing shirts and who's going to pay that much money for a shirt with a signature on there that can fade, get washed off eventually in the wash? That just doesn't make any sense. Most people, the only time they even request to have something signed, if they are at a venue like a concert and you're like there with your favorite artist and it's a memory and they're going to hang it up on their wall. When people are shopping for clothing to wear in their everyday or to special events. They're not shopping for clothing with signatures on there. I don't believe that she was signing all of these shirts to sell for $142. She's trying to make excuses because she's getting backlash because there's no reason that these regular degular plain shirts should be going for $142. There's no reason that a regular sweatshirt that you can go get on Fashion Nova, you can go get on Sheen, that's $29.95, should be selling on her website for $225. And so she's trying to find an excuse and a lie and say, oh, well, I was signing them. That's why they're so much more expensive. That doesn't make any sense. Nobody does that. Okay, nobody signs clothing and then sells it for more, especially when they're launching. All you're worried about is basically selling inventory. And when you're really serious about selling inventory and making sure that you've made a good product, you make the price point fair. I'm not saying that she can charge a little bit more because she's quote unquote famous, but to charge over $200 for something that is clearly fast fashion to me is ridiculous. She basically admitted that all of her stuff is private label, that none of it was designed by her. Now, another thing that I found very interesting is if you remember when I did the podcast with Lady J, we talked about a designer. His name is Tyree Lawan, and he's the one who had blasted Sheree. So let me go ahead and refresh your memory. 
What kills me is it doesn't matter how genuine and how honest you try to be with people. They will worry about yourself and play you if they can. This lady, Sheree, Housewives of Atlanta, shit by Sheree, didn't have really no clothes or style for her fashion show. Not only was I on set altering clothes the day of, I spent $2,500 of my own dollars to meet the deadline and make it happen. Not only did she take all the credit, never said thank you and it was on national television last night. I made her I made her finally look good out of 14 years of trying. This lady still never at least reimbursed me, let alone paid me. Shake my head. I made 40 pieces of clothing in less than a week. She's not going to make a dollar out that clothing because God don't play about me. I ain't giving her no patterns, no ideas, no more. So that's it. What y'all saw last night was echoes of my years in fashion and making people millionaires. If you knew all the companies that come to me for designs, ideas, samples, you would hit the floor in disbelief. I care less to be famous, but pay me and respect what I do for what I did for you. So that is what he had to say. And if you look at the picture of him, you will see him in that episode. I had to go back and scour but in that episode, you see his hair is longer, but you see him there with the designers. So when you can see his hands on the sewing machine. So my thing is this, Sheree, if these are all clothing, that, um, you know, from a private label company, then why was this young man Tyree on set? Why was he on set sewing and stitching your models into clothing last minute? The reason why it took two hours, once again, the show was two hours late to the point where Dwight was ready to get up. He was ready to go. He was over it. All Everybody was complaining about the time. But why, the reason why it was taking so long is because he literally had less than a few days to get 40 pieces together and he was stitching some of the clothing on the models the day of. So he's back there working his butt off, working overtime, and then to find out that this man was not paid, he was not thanked, he was not credited, and now she's totally not even addressing this situation. That's why I said I feel like she went there because she knows this man, Gibson, is not going to hold her feet to the fire and ask the real questions that the fans of the show are, are asking. This man came out and blasted her. He's the one who created these fashions. He's the one who created these designs and put them together and sold them. And she's totally not acknowledging him at all. So if these were really your pieces, how come the pieces on the website look nothing like what we saw on that runway show? The stuff that was at the She by Sheree runway show was fierce. It was stuff that, like Candy said, I need the website link because I want to buy this. It was so many cute pieces that I saw when I went on to her, when I saw screenshots from her website, all I really see is plain t-shirts and joggers. So I'm confused as to why that would take 14 years. There's nothing creative about anything that's on her website from these screenshots compared to what we saw at the runway show. So if these were all private label and this, if this was all her hard work, sweat and tears, then why did you need this mystery designer on set? Why did you need somebody on set sewing? Because if it was all private label and you already had the stuff, the models could have been tried it on, see what fit, see what didn't fit. So again, it's just sad because it just goes to show you that all of this was for reality television. All of this was for a storyline. And it's crazy because people were really rooting for Sheree. I know for a fact I was rooting for her. You know what I'm saying? And especially being that she's been trying to get this clothing line out. But now that I'm looking at all of this, I don't think she had any issues getting it out. It was just pure laziness. You know what I'm saying? If she wasn't on the show and there was nobody to watch her really struggle and put something together and she wasn't and she wasn't receiving some type of validation or a check or views from it, she wasn't interested. So it's not that it was hard. It's not that she was grinding for 14 years. There was no one there to film it. So she felt like if I'm not being filmed and there's no way for me to get fame off of this, then I don't care about my clothing line. It wasn't until they decided to invite her back again for this season that she had to figure out a storyline. And this was a perfect storyline, this big comeback, this whole I've been grinding and working hard for 14 years, only for her to now admit and say that all of this stuff is private label. And she's supposedly charging so much because she signs the shirts. The whole situation is just crazy and it's very disappointing. And it's sad that this young man was basically used for a storyline. He was not thanked. He was not credited. Had I not found him in those clips on the show, I would not not even noticed him until he said something. I had to go back and like really scour the scenes and find him. I wouldn't have known he was even there. And for him to be doing all the work to make her and to make her models look good. 
And then to just be basically pushed to the side and ignored, it's sad. And she has a history of doing this. I mean, there's been many photographers and assistants and people over the years who have talked about her not paying them. You have money when you have the means and you're sitting here taking advantage of people. That's not a good look. You know, and it's not right to treat people that way. You know, you got to understand the same ones that you see on your way up will be the same ones that you see on your way down. And you want to be careful who you step on because eventually people are not going to want to fool with you. People are not going to want to do business with you if this is how you do business. And then the fact that you try to take advantage of your fans who people like me and others who are really willing to support another black woman, you know what I'm saying? I think the clothes that were on that runway were just beautiful and adorable. You know what I'm saying? I thought they looked really good. And so many people were saying that online. So for you to then pull a, a, a bait and switch and then try to gaslight us and act like we're crazy, like, you know, oh, you guys are holding me to a standard that you guys don't hold other people to. No, we have every right to hold you to that standard, ma'am, because you had so-called 14 years. Remember, you keep reiterating it was 14 years. It was a 14-year struggle. You had 14 years to get it together and you chose not to so you deserve all the backlash and all the dragging that you're getting I will not be supporting she by Sheree I won't be buying any of this mess and I'm, I'm basically really turned off by all the just the antics it's like the, this show is just getting old at this point where they're just literally scraping the bottom of the barrel for a storyline it's, it's just really getting sad at this point I've seen Candy start many businesses on and off camera because she's serious about having a restaurant. She's serious about her business. She's serious about building generational wealth. We've seen Kenya Moore do the whole Kenya Moore hair care. She has her hair care supplies now in like CVS, Walgreens. Kenya's doing her thing on or off camera. Kenya stays grinding. Okay. So I just feel like Everything with Sheree, it's not because there were all these hurdles. It's not because she's a struggling, quote unquote, black woman. It's just laziness. If the cameras weren't there to capture it, if there weren't eyes on her, she wasn't interested. Because it doesn't take this long to get a business off the ground, especially when you owned a boutique, a successful boutique in Atlanta for a year. She was a boutique owner. So you have many connections with, you know, um, designers and distributors and things like that. She owned a boutique. Ask yourself, where did she get clothes for her so-called successful boutique? She had to have gotten it somewhere. So you mean to tell me somebody who owned a boutique has no idea how to start a clothing line? You literally have teenagers on the Internet who have started clothing lines, who have started T-shirt lines. So I don't want to hear this. This was just lazy and this was just, you know, trying to make a quick buck and taking advantage of the fans. And I, for one, as a as a fan of the show and a fan of the Real Housewives, you know, franchise, I'm very disappointed. I just really am. So anyways, y'all, let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. What do you guys feel about Sheree's explanation? Do you guys buying it or do you feel like she's on her Pinocchio shit? <laughs> At this point, she's just lying, stuttering and stumbling trying to get through this interview. So once again, let me know your thoughts on this whole mess concerning she by Sheree how do you guys feel about her interview how do you feel about the fact that she did not even mention or address the whole Tyree situation which I'm not surprised so with that being said make sure you guys like the video feel free to share the video and most importantly make sure you're still subscribed to the channel and I will talk to y'all later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets join us and tune in for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tea tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tea tv show be sure to share like and subscribe